So the ladies have just finished off their little evening snack, as James says, a scrub hair. It is an absolute morsel for the two of them, but certainly better than nothing, and they made very short work of it. They may continue to sniff around a little bit just to make sure they haven't left any little bits and pieces, or oh, it looks like she found one there, as they will certainly not be wasting anything. They are very young and it'll be interesting to actually spend some more time with them and get to know how successful they are at hunting. I have seen them with the Thompson's Gazelle kill on Thursday and this is the second kill that I've seen them with and we were fortunately enough to be able to see it all happen. They may get up and continue hunting this evening. Their bellies are certainly not too full to do that. They've just enjoyed quenching their thirst though after what was about maybe about 200 meters, 150 meters total chase. They ran quite far from where they were sleeping before they actually started hammering down after the scrub hair and a, l a lot of zigzagging backwards and forwards until one of them managed to take it down. I lost track during the hunts. I'm not sure, was it one that kind of seemed to lead the charge or did they relay Ferg or too hard to tell? Ooh, hard to tell. Yeah. Okay, okay, so they were both kind of trying their best to get as close to the scrubber as possible and one of them eventually did get lucky. It'll be interesting to maybe watch a replay at one point, at, so, at some point, to see exactly what, what went down. Hello, Cenac. You'd like to know if the prey that they've just consumed, scrub hair, live in burrows, that of aardvarks or termite mounds or any burrows underground and the answer is no hares live above the ground and that is actually one of the main distinguishing differences between hares and rabbits rabbits live in burrows have got much smaller ears and they hop whereas hares have got big ears live above the ground and have got more of a running motion as opposed to a hopping bunny rabbit like motion so no, the scrub hair is above the ground and there's not actually any rabbits that do occur in this immediate area that I know of. There may be some up in the rocky areas around the escarpments, but I'm not too sure of many rabbits living in these parts. The most widely spread rabbit-like creature that I've experienced in my years of safari is the scrub hair. They are quite widely spread through sub-Saharan Africa whereas rabbits tend to be less common unless you are at a pet shop. So what would have happened, and what's interesting is these scrub are usually nocturnal, so I'm not sure if the elephants flushed it from wherever it was hiding. They usually hide out during the day in little thickets. It's, it's kind of abnormal that it would have come out so early in the evening. So I'm guessing something flushed it from its hiding place and the cheetahs pounced at the opportunity. And that, I think, could have actually been the first live cheetah kill that Safari Live has actually shared with you guys. I oh, know, Kirsty says not so much. Well, maybe we're second on the podium. I don't know if you got me trying to do a woodland kingfisher call. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering what on earth that sound was coming out of my mouth. I went.